Well, welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the JMO Show. The JMO Show. The JMO Show. Um, today is a what I would call a very uh, special episode of the JMO Show. It is a uh, is an episode where I get to uh, be a little a tiny bit braggadocious um, because we get to talk. Just a little bit, not the whole time, but a little bit of the discussion today will be about um, the Detroit Red Wings, my my uh, my followed team, the team I follow. Um, uh, despite the last couple years of, of pretty troubled times there uh, in or here in Michigan, in Detroit specifically. Um, when it comes to sports, there was a time when when Detroit was a was a championship city, um, in one of their sports at least, <laughs> in one of their four major sports. Um, but I digress. Today um, is a very special episode. Uh, we'll get into what we'll be talking about in a second. But first, let's hit that beautiful, 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 just gorgeous intro. Let's get this going. Put it on me way too early. <laughs> I was like, I'll turn, I'll turn the, op- I'll, I'll take this, this here down. I'll take it down. It's fine. It's, it's not like you guys uh, don't see enough of me already. Um, but this episode was supposed to come out a week ago. Did not. Um, was supposed to come out earlier this week. Did not. Um, uh, the good part about it not coming out this week is that I've actually been consistently working again for the first time in a long time, um, making actual money to be able to afford to be able to do stuff like this. Um, but uh, I've got three layers on. I've got a jacket, sweatshirt, and my beautiful, beautiful Red Wings jersey um, to go along with the beautiful, beautiful intro, apparently, and my beautiful, beautiful hat. Uh, there's also that. And the thing behind me, as well as uh, what's? Oh, that's uh, that's Ron John. That's not, that's Ron John's, not uh, Red Wings. But I digress. First ten games of each defending Stanley Cup champion from the uh, first year after the lockout uh, in 2005 up until this last season with the Colorado Avalanche and. Um, how about we uh, just get right into it, shall we? Let's bring over this graphic here um, that I have made zero effort in making look pretty. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that. But um, first, before we get into the first 10 games, let's take a, a review uh, back to the season before their winning season. Or the sorry, the season they did win the Stanley Cup uh, this this one down here we're going to be looking at first. Uh, starting at 2005-2006, we've got Carolina Hurricanes. 52 wins, 22 losses in the regular season for 112 points. They were third in the standings that year. Um, 112 points tied for second most points uh, of any team uh, who won the Stanley Cup that year. Uh, 2006, 2007 was Anaheim with 110 points. They finished fourth. They actually have the second most, uh, OT or shut or shootout losses, um, with 14 Detroit in 2007, 2008 season, uh, with the second most, yeah, second most, uh, wins, uh, 54 wins, 115 points, one of only two teams uh since the lockout to um to finish first in the regular season and then go on to win the stanley cup which really again shows you uh the not necessarily the 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 whole idea of there being or the stigma behind there being the uh curse of the president's trophy um you just have to remember that that one team out of 16 teams has that trophy going into the playoffs um so it's very difficult for me to kind of like subscribe to that 
Um, we might we could do a video in the future where we discuss um, each President's Trophy winner going further back than than this time period because we can clearly see based on this since 2005 2006 uh, that that um, that year there's only been two teams Chicago and Detroit to end in first place win the President's Trophy and then go on to win. So that's not not very good odds, I would say. Um, continuing on, Pittsburgh, two thousand eight, two thousand nine, finished eighth. Um, that is not that's the that's the tied with the third lowest uh, in the standings. The lowest being uh, St. Louis in eighteen nineteen. But um, finishing third, Chicago in two thousand nine, two thousand ten. Uh, Boston in 2010, 2011 finished seventh. Uh, LA 2011, 2012, and 2013, 2014 um, finished 13th and 10th. Chicago, the only only other team on this list to win the President's Trophy the year that they won in 2012, 2013. They also won in 14, 15. Pittsburgh with back to back wins. Uh, first time for that to happen since Detroit, I believe, in 97 and 98. Um, up until this point, obviously, um, 104, 111 points, uh, Washington in 17, 18, St. Louis in 18, 19, Tampa Bay, the last team to win two Stanley Cups in a row, last team in a lot for, I think since the eighties to go to three straight Stanley Cup, uh, uh, championships, um, they they lost in the finals to Colorado this last year. Colorado, most points of any of the of the Stanley Cup champions, um, 119 points finished second behind Florida this last year. Um, let's uh, let's take a look at their at um, the first 10 games, and then we'll go into the rest of their full standings. First, first 10 games of the dis, of the defending Stanley Cup champions. Um, there's a that there and that there that I missed. Um, anyways, so in red, obviously, is a loss streak. In blue is a win streak. Um, so we've got a couple pretty decent-sized win streaks. St. Louis with five wins. Um, some of them in, sh in sh um, shootouts or overtime. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six for uh, L.A. Um, a couple fours. Um, here and then one two three four five six as are also for la um or no for chicago sorry um so this is this is um i have a uh, i have the dates on here wrong but that's okay um anyways so if we take take all this and we put it over here we've got um colorado five four and one tampa seven three and zero. Oh, tampa again six two and two st louis uh to start the season uh after they won keep in mind this is this is uh the first 10 games after they won the stanley cup um so uh if we go down the list Pittsburgh and St. Louis with eight wins apiece, Detroit and Tampa Bay with seven, and then Boston, seven losses after they won the Stanley Cup, went 3-7-0 and oh, with six points um, to start the season as defending champions. Not great, um, but then we also have Pittsburgh, the two years that they went back-to-back -back, um, with three overtime or uh shootout losses and then 16 points for st louis pittsburgh and detroit um not really su surprising um detroit the year after they won would end up going to the finals a, a second time and losing to pittsburgh um now if we take all of those all of all those stats and just add the rest of the season this is the stats of the regular season for the Stanley Cup defending champions um, <clears throat> with the most wins Tampa Bay uh, and Pittsburgh and Detroit 
for the following season with 51 and 50. Most losses would be 20, 29 apiece for Pittsburgh, Boston, and Chicago. Pittsburgh, uh, 17, 8, that 17, 18 season. Overtime losses, 15 apiece for LA and Chicago between 13, 14, and 14, 15. Most points for the season after they won, uh, 110 for Tampa Bay, 111 for Pittsburgh, and 112 uh, for Detroit, making them the most successful team of any of the defending champions. But uh, what's funny about all these numbers is all three of these guys were not even close, or, well, weren't first, I should say. Uh, 110 points gets you seventh place this last year. 111th gets second, and 112th gets third uh, those years. And then we've got um, we've got uh, Anaheim and Washington with four, and Chicago with fifth place in the standings. Lowest in the standings after they won the Stanley Cup would be LA in 1415, not even making the playoffs. Uh, Carolina. Uh, 20th not even making the playoffs and then obviously we've got Colorado who hasn't played yet so if we look at the playoff hunt for the season after they after they won um, the Stanley Cup so as defending champions going into the stand into the playoffs as I said LA and Carolina not making it um, we've got Anaheim losing in the uh, conference quarterfinals uh, Detroit lost in the finals Pittsburgh lost in the conference semifinals. Uh, we've got Chicago and Boston both losing in the quarterfinals of their conferences. Conference final uh, for Chicago and L.A. Quarterfinal conference for Chicago. Uh, Pittsburgh winning the following season. Tampa obviously winning the final season as well. And then... Uh, uh, First round losses for Pittsburgh, Washington, and St. Louis, and then Tampa Bay losing in the finals this last year to Colorado. Um, so for our discussion piece today, discussion being best team um, for regular for we'll we'll put this in a in a couple different categories. Best team uh, for Stanley Cup defending Stanley Cup champions. They won the year prior. Um, if we're going at it at well obviously first let's we'll split this into four pieces the stanley cup winning season i would say has to go to either detroit or chicago considering they won this the the president's trophy in the regular season and won the stanley cup um let's see 115 points for detroit and only 77 uh for chicago in the 2012 23 20, uh, 2012 2013 season um obviously there's some extenuating circumstances there and and all that kind of stuff but you also uh have uh, like tampa bay with with only 75 but they were in eighth place when they won um the stanley cup this the second time um so without being completely and utterly biased i am going to give um the the winning season uh uh no, title to detroit um winning the president's trophy 115 points uh and then ending up uh winning the stanley cup that same year i would say that that has to potent like pretty much has to be um on a statistical standpoint has to be the winner you also have colorado who did and i would have i'd have to take a look at this this could be another video but um looking at the runs that each championship team had um where i know colorado had two sweeps in the same in the same sa the same stanley cup championship run um they swept the the first round and the conference final uh matchups that when they won this last year um so there is there is um good reason to say that they that they potentially were the best um stanley cup team winning team uh based based on those uh just just strictly speaking when it comes to how many games they played they probably uh not taking a look uh 
currently like literally right now taking a look at it i would say that that they probably had the most dominant one colorado um but putting those two together i'd say it was detroit um first uh first 10 games of the following season um it's between St. St. Louis, Pittsburgh, and Detroit again uh, for the for the defending champions um, with 16 points apiece. If we take a look at each of those teams, Detroit had a two-game win streak and then a five-game win streak. Pittsburgh had a two-game win streak, a four-game win streak, and then a two-game win streak. Um, and then St. Louis had a one, two, three, four, five, six game uh, win streak with two wins and two losses in there as well. So um, I would I would say that I would have to give it to um, let's see one two one two three one two. I would I would say you would have to give it to either St. Louis or Pittsburgh if we're narrowing it down because uh, they each had they were each eight and two and O's. Uh, Detroit was seven one and two, um, uh, and then if we're going strictly based on like dominance wise, I don't have the numbers in front of me for how dominant they were uh, to go off of that. So I would probably just uh, eat the bullet and or bite the bullet and say that it's it's pittsburgh or i mean i can't say i could say pittsburgh or st louis because i don't i don't definitively know um but let's just go with let's just go with pittsburgh um just to just to put it to stick it to all my fellow detroit fans um if we go on to how they did the following season um there's two teams uh, it's either Pittsburgh or Tampa because they ended up winning the Stanley Cup back to back. I would have to say that Pittsburgh again did a better job the following season. Um, Tampa the following season was um, was eighth. Uh, well, at well, well, I'll say something first and then and then I'll go back to what I was just about to say. Um, the the following season after they after they won the Stanley Cup Tampa was eighth in uh, eighth in the standings um, Pittsburgh was second in the standings so I would again have to give it to Pittsburgh for following Stanley Cup champions because strictly based on the fact that that you really can't dispute that a team any team is better than a team who def- who actually won the Stanley Cup a second time in a row um, but if we're going off of um, between 2005, 2006, up until this this last year for 2002, 2003, there's really no disputing that Tampa Bay has been the best um, team in the playoffs. Strictly, um, it's been made abundantly clear at this point that they genuinely don't care about the standings in the regular season anymore. As long as they get into the playoffs, they've played like pretty much every single top tier team in the east in the playoffs and won uh every single one of them for the past three years they've gotten to the finals every single time so they have beat out all other seven teams in the east every single year for the last three years the only team uh taking them out being colorado this la this this last season in 2021 2022 and then uh and then um the year that st louis won uh, in 1819 was also the year that they lost to the Columbus Blue Jackets in the first round. Um, so besides the Jackets a couple years ago in Colorado, no other team has beat Tampa Bay. So I would say that Tampa Bay is definitively the best, the best playoff team when it comes to taking a look at these that at these statistics here. Um, but again, uh, the year that they won, I would give it to Detroit first 10 games i give it to pittsburgh and again for um the overall season including playoffs i'd have to give it to to pittsburgh again unfortunately um but i tried to stay as unbiased as humanly possible detroit did um end up in third place with 112 points this season after they won with with 51 wins um but you also have st louis uh and pittsburgh uh 
ending in second, so above Detroit, ending in second the year uh, that they won, but with less points, um, 111 for Pittsburgh and 94 for, for St. Louis the the year that they were defending champions. Um, so with that, um, these episodes are, are starting to get a little shorter, which I'm, which I'm pretty happy with. I, I, I want these to be as digestible as possible without without uh, uh, leaving anything out that, that I find to be be prudent or interesting or anything like that. So um, the, the, the one elephant in the room that I did want to, to say something about is that I took a bunch, like I, I did a photo shoot essentially for myself, bunch of pictures uh, for the, for the, for the um, thumbnails and every single one of them came out like crap. So I'm going to have to use one or two of them before uh, I'm able to uh, uh, take some more better, some better pictures um, of myself for those thumbnails. Um, but for this one specifically, the eighth episode of the JMO show, uh, it's not going to be as pretty as <laughs> as other ones have been. So unfortunately, that's that's the way it goes uh, for now until I can fix it. But um I am going to throw up the the opening thing again and uh, play that music, that sweet, sweet, beautiful, beautiful uh, uh, music again that, that if you watched episode 7 of the JMO show, you got to see um, the behind the scenes on, on accident, obviously, um, but you got to see behind the scenes of, of uh, who I use to get this free music that I'm using. <laughs> So with that, I'm going to flash this up and I'm going to say goodbye to everybody and hit that beautiful music.